there and welcome. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Fluval U range. In this video I'm going to be looking at the U2 but there is very little difference between the U2, U3 or U4 other than the actual physical size of the filter and the size of the filter media. So let's have a look what you get inside. This is a brand new one. First thing you'll see is your packet of suction pads and the attachment so you can use your Venturi system. Later I will explain what the Venturi system is. You get the actual filter. And some paperwork. You can read that if you are bothered. So the first thing I will show you is it actually comes pre-attached to its um, stand, as you will, and this allows it to be taken on and off of the tank without removing it from the glass. So basically, this thing here is where you put your suction pads, and that will stick to the side of the glass. And when you want to take your filter out, all you do is rotate it forward and pull it off. A handy feature. Um, I don't know any other internal fi filters which allow you to do that. So looking at the outside of the filter, it's quite large in comparison to some other models. I mean, this is rated down to a 45 litre aquarium. Um, I imagine having that in a 45 litre aquarium, it would take up quite a lot of space. Um, but nevertheless, it has quite nice rounded edges, so it's quite, um, you know, it's not as ugly as some filters can be. It takes the water in through the side slits here on either side. Um, it has a top flow, it has a spray bar there, and it has a bottom flow. And both, all of these can be adjusted by the top there. You just turn that round to whatever setting that you want. Now, the top one is good because you can attach a Venturi system, and what a Venturi system is, it's like a little snorkel, it sits above the water and it will suck air in. Um, and this allows you to sort of oxygenate your water um, while you're also using the filter. The middle bit is the spray bar. So that's quite useful if you're keeping uh, a planted aquarium with CO2 in it. You don't want too much water movement on top of the water, but you still want to get your uh, filtration. So that will it's basically like a, a slow flow uh, or a gentle flow. Uh, again, if you've got uh, fish that don't like a lot of water movement, that's perfect for them. And then you've got the bottom one here. This is probably um, Probably the most useful one, I would say, if you've got a lot of debris on the bottom of your aquarium, then this will help to stir it up uh, and clean your sand or your gravel. So let's take a look inside the filter. Um, another feature of it, it has this flip top lid, uh, and that allows you to access your filter media without even removing it from your aquarium, which is really handy. Um, it has three separate compartments there for your filter media. Got two on the outside one on the inside. That's just the inside of the filter. You can see at the bottom there you've got the ear impeller and then below that you'll have your motor. So let's talk about the filter media. Um, these are basically the uh, filters for removing particles. Um, on the inside bit you've got the poly pad and the carbon. So that will actually do chemical filtration and remove any colours or smells from your water and this bit here is just sponge that just chaps any large particles that float about in your aquarium. Um, have the black side on the inside. The filter compartments have this handy section at the bottom and that's just to trap any debris that doesn't get caught completely by the filter media stops it from going into the filter. Both of these are the same so on the inside you've got your biological filtration and that is basically small rocks and um, they're very porous and that's where your biological filtration will commence and that's where the bacteria will live. So quite essential to your filter. Um, you would actually remove it from the bag before using it, it would be a lot easier to put back in. <coughs> So I'll just put this back together now and show you how simple it is. So there is a right and a wrong way to put this in. Um, the round circle has to be 
um, connected to the impeller, so it needs to be on the, on the side next to me. That just slides in like that. These have the slip, slotted bit on the outside. Easy. Um, and then that just slides like that. And then that just goes on there. Really, really simple. Now, let's talk about the filter. You know, is it worth buying? Um, I would definitely say yes. Um, I think these filters have been designed for everybody in mind. Now, a lot of people say certain brands are for certain types of uh, aquarists or fish keepers. You know, you got your more simple people, just want to keep a goldfish or just want to keep some small uh, like neon tetras and stuff like that. You know, this filter's for you as well, or you've got people who want to keep discus. You can use one of these. This filter gives you everything you really want. You can have different flows. You can actually put different filter media in there. So you don't have to use the filter media that comes with it. You can tailor it to whatever you need. In fact, you could use this as a secondary filter. So if you've got an external filter on your aquarium already doing your biological filtration, then why not use one of these to just harbour specialist media like nitrate or phosphate removers? You can do that with this filter, and that's a great advantage that many don't have. Um, again, just ease of use, ease of maintenance. If you're one of these people that you really want to keep fish, but you think, oh, I haven't got the time, well, this is going to cut out a lot of time when you're doing your general maintenance. Um, the only reason I don't tend to use internal filters is because I prefer external filters. Again, I buy Fluval for the same reason I'd buy the internal Fluval filters. They're designed so well, they're so easy to use, you don't have, there's not really a learning curve for them. As soon as you buy it, it's kind of intuitive how to use it. You can't really make mistakes. Um, it's just a fantastic filter and it's really, I'd say, competitively priced uh, within the market. For what you get, you're certainly not paying as much as you could be paying. So, you know, out of 10 for internal filtration, let's say 10 is the ultimate filter you could imagine. I would definitely give this an 8 to a 9. It's fantastic. I don't know what you could add to this to make it any better. So, thank you for watching. I hope this has been useful. I hope I've transferred some of my enthusiasm for this filter onto you. And uh, happy fish keeping!